You can see our next guest headlining Comedy Works in Denver on July 2nd and 5th. And you can see him on television right now here. Please welcome Chris Charpentier. Hello. Hello, thank you so much for having me. This is a real treat. Uh, I will make with the funny in just a second, but first I gotta ask you guys something. Do you guys find it annoying when someone gives themselves their own nickname? Yeah? What about someone who refers to themselves in the third person? Yeah, okay. Well, daddy does both. So <laughs> I'm just gonna have to deal with it. That's right. Uh, this happened to daddy on the way down this evening. <laughs> I uh, stopped to get a pack of cigarettes, and the guy behind the counter asked me for my ID. Look, I understand I don't look 34 years old, which I am. But I think it's pretty clear I'm old enough to buy cigarettes, you know? I've been doing that for a long time. So I was like, whatever. And I gave the guy my ID, and he turned around to get the cigarettes. And while he was doing that, I looked down on the counter, and there's one of those little signs, you know? Get ready, we're gonna ID ya. And on there was a picture of a little kid with a fake mustache. <laughs> Can't get too mad, right? He's just doing his job, and that's fine. That's fine. I do, I have a feeling, though, that he didn't ID me because of the mustache. I think he ID'd me because of my height. That's a little more realistic. Uh, I'm a little dude. I'm, I'm only five foot five, which is short. And I know that's short because someone tells me every day just, <laughs> just how short that that is. So I've become used to it. And, I'll admit, if I saw some of the things that I go through, if I could see them from another person's perspective, I'm sure I'd laugh, you know? Sometimes I have to get on my tiptoes to use a urinal. That's funny, for sure. That is funny. Any job that I had where I was required to wear a uniform, it just looked like I was going trick-or-treating year-round. I get it, you know? I get it. Not always, definitely not always, but sometimes when I take a poop, my feet will fall asleep because they've been dangling for too long. Yeah. yeah. So, I get it. I get it. I understand why people make fun of me, but it's not fair to make fun of me for being short because you don't know what I'm working with. All right? That's right. I'm serious now. My mom, five foot one. My dad, five foot two. Yeah. So, me getting to five foot five, I think I did pretty damn good for myself. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of hard work went into it. A lot of sleepless nights, you know? And imagine, too, if I didn't do all the things that they say stunt your growth. Drinking coffee, smoking cigarettes, doing drugs. I did all that stuff a bunch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> imagine if I didn't do that stuff. I'd be a freak. <laughs> I'd be like five foot seven. <laughs> Almost normal. That's great. And it's not just my height. Like, technically, by age, I am a man. Uh, but I've never felt that way. Uh, I never have. And I think the reason, I think I, the real reason why is because my main example of a man, my father, by the time that he was my age, he owned a home, he had started his own business, and he had three children. Maybe if he wasn't so busy, he could have taught me how to do any one of those things. <laughs> Would have been nice. All right, I think we've had enough fun talking about silly stuff. Uh, we can talk about something that matters, something important. My hair. <laughs> it's perfect, isn't it? Let's talk about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, it's thick. It's thick, it's luscious. I'm never going bald, I know it, uh, for sure. I don't even use a pillow anymore. I just, I mean, that's the best sleep of my life. Truly, I talk about it all the time, on stage and off, because I know it's the best thing that I have going for me. And. Uh, I was doing a show a couple weeks ago in Omaha, Nebraska, and a guy came up to me after the show and was like, your hair's not that nice. And I said, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Would you like to run your fingers through it? He's gay now. So, pretty good head of hair. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very funny. Chris Sharp and Tear, everybody. You mind? I do feel a little gay now. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.